Welcome to the breakdown. Here, rebounding for us once again. Wade, dude, the joke Clemens, never ends. The, the joke pay never beast. Ends. The joke will happen every time, dude. <laughs> you will receive one every time. Okay. Well, now that that's over with, terrible <laughs> intro, Sensei. Jesus Christ. Um, let's talk about he he. I don't know what side you're on. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Are you grabbing that rebound? Ah. Speaking of rebound, let's talk about what has been a, I don't know, ton of shots and flat out bricks on the announcement of KSI and Tommy Fury. We've been yeah. rebounding, speculating, figuring out what is going on with this fight for the last month now. And here we are, um, July 10th, as it stands, we still don't have a fight, Sensei. Yeah. What is going on with this? What, what, what are we saying? negotiations in combat sports uh and especially specifically boxing because well, let's add one more especially let's add one more the fury family yeah as yeah, well yeah because i mean boxing is notorious because the fighters are they have their they can really make their own negotiations they have a lot they of got input, more control which is a good thing for the fighter uh but unfortunately um leaves the fan uh and the community uh to lay waste uh because yeah like in the UFC, when it's a promotion like that, there you go. You already signed, sealed, fights, you know, they happen. Right? Sometimes the fights are announced before they're even signed in the UFC. That's how much power they got. Right, exactly. So when you get in this, you got you know big hitters. You got KSI, Tommy Fury, Jake Paul, this little freaking Three Musketeers, this trio here, um, yeah. playing mind games. It's almost like, you know... Did JJ going after Tommy Fury because of Jake Paul? In spite of him, Jake's trying to influence the weight discrepancy. Tommy's doing this. They're all playing these crazy mind games, and we're just like, can somebody sign a contract so we can fight? Sign. You know, we wanted Facts. to see the fight. So, Do you, does it worry you that this is taking as long as it is? <sighs> let me let me let me let me explain. I guess because. The fact that Tommy Fury is playing, and I assume that this is a lot of Tommy Fury, even though we do know that KSI's team, not necessarily KSI, but his team are very particular with their negotiations as far right. as weight. Um, and now this seems to be an issue again, even though they're saying it isn't, and now the weight is agreed upon. But originally, this was supposed to be at 180, I Correct. think, with no rehydration, right? And now that's not the case. Apparently, there's been another agreement where both parties don't necessarily get what they want. So I think it's 182 and a half is what I'm assuming they gave Tommy or they gave him more money to come to 180. I don't know. Um, but the fact that this is taking as long as it is, the fact that you have Jake on Twitter saying he's playing chess, not checkers. And you hear Tommy Fury say, listen, if KSI, it comes out on Twitter, had the video of KSI. If you don't want to fight, I know someone that will, I'll fight Jake again in October. Do you think that there is any, I wouldn't even say influence from Jake. You know, Jake saying he's playing chess, not checkers. Do you think it's Tommy the one that's playing chess, not checkers here? Yeah, I can because, see that. There's a lot of games, gamesmanship being played. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah, it isn't. I don't really. To me, the for, I don't know what it is, but the KSI and Tommy Fury. I don't feel like the fight's gonna happen. Um, I, I, dude, I, I just I've been like thinking the same thing because they don't look. It doesn't seem like they really want to fight. The matchup is like talked about, but it didn't really make a lot of sense, and it just. They're talking it about seems it, like but, KSI is fighting Tommy to prove he's better than Jake, which is not right. the reason you fight Tommy Fury, in my opinion. Correct. No, but no, for not, for sure. It so. is. It is like it's also because Tommy's a draw now. Yeah, of course. Right, and yep. and he's only a draw when he fights guys like Jake and KSI. Let's be honest. But it, yep. it, it it's proven now. But I I just I look at it and I go, man, if Tommy is being this much of a diva about things, why give him the power? Why, why even get, like entertain it? Right. Why not just go, okay, Jake, you're fighting Nate in August. Cool. After you're done, fuck it. Let's just make the fight. And again, I know that depends on Jake too. And Jake then has the power and negotiation. I get all that. But it's like both of you guys are sitting here going, Tommy, fight me. Tommy, that day, October, right. fight yeah, me, fight yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you guys just go fight? You know, and, and, and it's, it's easy for us to say because I'm sure yeah. this is the same hang up that we're going to get as to the reason they already haven't fought. I know it's, I mean, it's been, but, that's the thing, it's been years, so, like, I'm kind of numb to it, I'm just waiting for, you know, something, this thing to be official, signed, Yeah. you know, now, not, not agreed upon, signed. Exactly, that's another point that a lot of people are looking at, like, oh, it's agreed, we're doing it, I'm like, guys, 
until pin is to paper right. in boxing, in most combat sports, nothing is official. You shouldn't treat this fight like it's happening until it is. Now, I my my feeling is that KSI is not going to fight Tommy. Uh, it's it's still the next fight is still going to be KSI Jake. It's just going to negotiations are going to just not work out. But here's the thing though. Here's the thing. If later. if KSI doesn't fight Tommy and Jake beats Nate, Jake's going to fight Tommy again before he fights KSI. Oh, if he beats Nate, yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and it's a lot of ifs that I'm throwing around in there. But Jake has said, listen. I'll turn around and fight Tommy in October if I smoke Nate, which he thinks he's gonna. And that's a whole different discussion, but I do think that Jake's mind is rematch Tommy, then KSI. And that's the problem. I think he's he, like, I KSI think, can't I think be an actor. that way just to in spite of JJ2 just doesn't want to give him anything, dude. Just. Right. And, and you don't have to if you beat Nate. You already have right. the Tommy fight there. And this is where, you know, when, and I hate saying it like this, but this is where when KSI said, I don't need to fight Tommy, I don't need you. He's right. He doesn't need to fight. Right. But if he's not fighting Jake, Tommy is kind of the only guy that drums up any kind of interest on a similar level. On a similar level, yeah. I mean, if JJ fights Tommy, though, then he loses. Does he fight Jake? I know. I know. I think he. I think that fight still happens. If it's it makes a similar, sense, right? But does Jake yeah. want to fight Tommy first again? Then yeah, fight Jake? Probably. Then JJ after? Yeah. 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 The only way JJ, I think, gets the Jake fight next is if he beats Tommy. And that even then, sense. I don't even know if the fight happens because then you have this massive power swing from, you know, Jake saying he's a side. You can't really say that then because now JJ has done it. He's done the thing. Right. So then is Jake going to like, cause they're going to, you know how it's going to go. JJ and them are going to make all the demands and be like, nah, we ain't budging on nothing, which to be fair is they're right at that point. Correct. 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 You know, you want this fight? Come down to one seven five. That's the thing when know? it comes to negotiations. That's why we talk about with boxing the power that's in with with the fighters, which is good. But it just you get this back. Someone's gonna players. have to. Someone's gonna have to bend a little bit. Pause. But it's just gonna have to be that way. You know, someone's gonna have to. Yeah. But I don't. It, okay, so let's say if if you're right, and I'm not. We'll, we'll say you're right and you're wrong. But let's say you're right. Yeah. And JJ doesn't fight Tommy. He has to fight someone before he fights Jake again. Who is it? I have an idea. I have a couple ideas, but people aren't going to like it. You want me to, you want me to tell you? So Poppy? Who else? I don't know. No, not Poppy. Not no. right yet. Not not yet. You can't fight Poppy off a loss. Yeah. Oh my god. It's the winner the of the Kingpin tournament. Oh, yes. That's huge. That's the that's a big fight. It's a big fight, regardless who it is in my yeah. opinion. Yep. At this point, regardless who it is. Maybe just It's Winterson. bigger. No, nah, if Winterson loses, he can't. That's what I'm saying. Imagine Winderson if he wins it. And here's something I keep saying, and this is not to discount Kenny or Jarvis because they have just as, as as much of a chance to win this thing as anybody. And Kenny and KSI is a fun-ass fight, dude. Yeah. And bro. same with Jarvis. 100%. 100%. 100%. But let's say it's Gibb. That's huge. That's huge. That is the biggest fight, Face Sensei, that you can make outside of KSI Tommy it might be bigger or KSI yeah. and Jake KSI and Jake being number one KSI Tommy being number two I think Gibb is right there yeah it is it think is. of the story bro it is. Think, the, like, the story is crazy and people people have been on Twitter being like no one wants this fight stop pushing it and I'm like dude if you can't and because you know I don't know if you saw the video KSI was was having his yep. massage or whatever mm -hmm. And he started kind of laughing it off like, no, that fight's not happening. He's not on my level. And people are like, see, he's saying it won't happen. I'm like, you guys have to read the bait that's coming out of his mouth right now. You can't, you can't tell me you can't read this. KSI is, is basically telling Gibb, challenge me. Do it. Yeah. Do it. That call would, me out properly. That makes sense. Especially if Gibb wins the tourney. If he wins the tourney, it, it, dude, it, if that's he wins crazy. the tourney and Jake wants to fight Tommy in October, fucking put it together. For the king of UK, do it. Otherwise, what is what KSI is not fighting, and that's fine. Yeah, if know, KSI doesn't want to fight, right, that's fine, cool. But if you want to stay active, and I'm not saying Gibb gets you ready for Jake, but Nate doesn't get Jake ready for Tommy, other than correct, he gets another correct, camp. Correct, correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a that makes sense. I don't. Oh my gosh, it's just these. I just feel so not confident in these guys to be able to agree. <laughs> yeah, on something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But let's There's say this. So many moving parts. Let's say you're wrong. And KSI and Tommy does happen. 
There is a report going around that this thing is near the finish line. We've been hearing that for the last couple of weeks. It's near the finish line, near the finish okay. line. Okay. But KSI did come out with the video and it's like, Tommy, you're being difficult on the way. You know, if it's not one thing, it's another with the Fury family. I, I don't I don't put a lot of the blame on this this back and forth on KSI here. I, I don't. That makes sense. I yeah. know that no. the Furies are and, and by the way, I don't know if you know this, Tommy is not with Frank Warren anymore. So it's essentially you're negotiating with Tommy and Big John. Good uh, fucking luck. Okay. Good luck. Well. Now, here's the thing. I, there's a report going around that this could happen on October 14th. So that would be the date. October 14th, KSI Tommy Fury. If this happens, I have to think that they chose October, one, to give it some build, obviously, right? But two, for the mindset that if they win, they get Jake in February. That gives you November, December, January. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think KSI wants to be boxing in the next two years. I don't think so. Yeah, no. I think he's on his way out here. And, and fair play to him. He's he said what he wants to do. Of course. You know what I mean? The mission is Jake. Finish finish the story. Jake Paul. And if that's the case, I, I like it because you're keeping the fight somewhat close to Jake without having to compete with him for a date. But also, you're not getting so far out that you're taking mass amount of times between fights where Jake is continuing to be active. Right. If that's the case, fair play. I think I always, I think a month ago, I predicted it would be in October because this thing was moving way too slow. I like that, but gun to your head, have to make a decision. You're saying this fight doesn't happen? I don't know. I think if you convince me, because I think you're right. He does get Jake either way. Yeah. Win or lose, you know? Yeah. Um, I think. I mean, that, it makes sense. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it would be. It doesn't hurt him. Right. You know, it, it's it like it Tommy is, Tommy beat Jake too. But it's more than the only way it doesn't happen is the negotiations and how annoying, you know, this whole. It's been we've been waiting for KSI and Jake for so long, and now it's KSI and Tommy, and Tommy their team is. Dude, Tommy has wormed his way into <laughs> influencer boxing. Did you hear Logan was like, "I'll fight Tommy at 185." I'm like, bro, this dude is is taking y'all's lunch money and laughing. And I get it, you know, I get yeah. it. It's the one guy that's been, you know, he beat Jake, so it's like he's the top dog now. But the, right, right, y'all are far like. 10, 15 times more popular than this guy. You're letting him take influencer boxing and go, cool, what's next? You know, like, it's just, it's crazy. But I also understand that there's a little pride on the line there, and it makes for fun fights, but... Gun, gun to my I head, think, gun to my head, they fight. In October? When you put it that way, yeah. Um, okay. That's the rumored date, October 14th in Manchester. Tommy's backyard, which I love. Put it in his backyard, put it where influencer boxing started, Manchester, fuck it. It's crazy. Full circle. Let's do it. I'm down. That would be. But and then freaking this is what I'm saying. Upset, dude. And I'm going to leave. The, I think we leave the video here. If you're going to have. And again, it's not their fault that these reports are leaking. But if you're going to be Mams Taylor saying it's almost done. We're there. We're there. We just have to sign a couple things. Small details. And this doesn't happen. This is the second or third time that the influencer boxing fans have been. Their hope yeah, has been given bro, just out. for it to be crashed down. And people are going to start going, dude, I'm sick of this. Yeah, you get burned out easily. People have been so burned out either of boxing give us, for a while yeah. because of this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, welcome to the professional boxing rings if that's the way it's going to be. Because, and again, I, I, it's hard to just blame them. But at the same time, you shouldn't say things like that if it's not happening. Or if it's not 100%. Like, you can say, that's the fight we want. That's the fight we're working on but you shouldn't be coming out and saying this fight's done. We just got to have a couple of details unless it's actually done. Yeah. This one needs to be, you're right. This one needs to be signed. It's gotta be, because it'll be huge if it is, because I don't think anyone's massive coming. a little while ago. This wasn't I, I don't massive. Know. I didn't see this one coming. So, I mean, years ago, Tommy had called out KSI like 2019, but I don't think anyone right. took it seriously. Right. Right. But now it's, it's on the table and KSI thinks that overhand, right. will take him to the promised land. It may, it may, but it's an uphill challenge, one that KSI hasn't faced. It'll be the toughest fight KSI's had by far. Easily, yeah, easily. And it's for the first time in a long time, and again, this isn't KSI's fault, it's the first fight where you believe something's on the line here. Yeah. Like Joe Fournier was a quote-unquote test, but everybody that watched him went, oh, no, we know what's coming. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and Jake's fights with Tyron, even to that point, you went, well, I don't know. Anderson Silva, I don't know. Tommy Fury, this is tough. 
this is why KSI needs this fight, in my opinion. If you're gonna if you're gonna remain at the top, win or lose, I think it's commendable that you take Tommy Fury. I don't know if yeah. it's necessarily the reward. The risk of reward is definitely in his favor for sure. Because a lo- a loss for doesn't sure. kill it for for the Jake fight to me, but. I think it losses. It, it depends on how he loses. I was he gets saying, flat if you get absolutely starched, that's never good anywhere. GG. <laughs> GG. We might not. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> yeah. So if that doesn't happen, <laughs> but yes, we up. We up. Yeah. So comment section, you let us know, man. We we just the only thing we want is 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 answers here. And and to be yeah. fair, I know that it's as kind of the the norm here in influencer boxing. You guys wanted answers from Kingpin. Now we want answers from the other side, but. Is KSI Tommy Fury going to happen? They say it's just it's a couple of details and it's already agreed and we're just waiting on the signing. You guys let us know below because we don't have the answers, but October 14th is the date or supposedly the date. So guess we'll find it. I can't take no love.